We thank God for the pastor, her and her husband who are, who are sitting in the congregation. And we thank God for just this opportunity to come and to serve. Amen? Let's go to this pre-record. For truly you have been so wonderful and marvelous. You have been so kind, Father God. And for that, Lord, we just want us to tell you thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. We thank you, Lord, that you put you put the breath in our body that we were able to get up this morning. Lord, you, we were able to use our limbs. We were able, Father God, to, 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 to move on down the highways and byways of life. Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord, because you didn't have to do it, Lord, but you did. 
Oh, Father God, and now as well, coming with, within this, uh, within these consecrated walls, Lord, we're coming, Lord, to give you thanks and to give you the praise. And we ask your kind Father, Lord, just to turn a sympathetic ear and a compassionate vibe upon your people, Lord, that have gathered within these consecrated walls. Lord, we, but just, not just those that are here, but those that had a desire to be here, Father God, but for some unknown reason. Lord, they are not yet, they are, they are not here with us. Well, Lord, we ask you to watch over those that may be even on the road at this time, trying to make it here, Father God. And we ask you, Lord, just to have your way, Father God. Let your ministering angels ride with them. Let your guardian angels go before them. Keep them, Father God, from hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, but we are here, Father God, to give you the glory and to give you the praise. We ask you, kind Father, to take your chosen vessel, dip him deep. Deep, deep within the blood of the Lamb. And when you have drawn him out, Father God, use him until you have used him up. Oh, Father God, speak to our heart. Speak to our souls and speak to our mind. Lord, we're coming in anticipation of hearing a word from you. For one word from your divine lips is a transforming and liberating word. It is a word that can break chains. It is a word, Father God, that can bring hope. It is a word that can deliver. And for that, Lord, we just ask you to speak, Father. Speak for your children are listening. Oh, Lord, these and other blessings we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. This afternoon, our scripture will come from Romans, the 12th chapter. I'll be reading the scriptures from the New Living Translation version of the Bible, and it may sound different than yours if you have the King James or the New International Version. The Word of God says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind you will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves. Measure yourselves by faith, by the faith God has given us. Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has special functions, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. The word of God for the people of God, bless be our God. The youngest member of the church, our sister Freddie Bond, to come and give us our love. about that youngest member. <laughs> welcome, the occasion, and the welcome. This is our family and friends day, which didn't start out as family and friends. It started out as homecoming. Homecoming. It's been going on for a while. Y'all are welcome. And don't wait till homecoming and family and friends come to church. Come on, join us. We have a good time. <laughs> Can we get a response? <laughs> Y'all want me to flip a coin? <laughs> say uh, first giving honor to God and thanks for having everybody inviting us out and allowing us to come spend time with y'all. Uh, my sister here is a little nervous so she wants me to speak. I don't know why because I'm just as nervous. But uh, we just want to say thank you for the welcome and as always we always feel welcome. I mean as it is it's family and friends day that we are all one. We're all one family under the Lord and of course and everything and we just, just want to say thank you for the welcome and we will try and come out as often as we can. Amen. 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 
that way.
Hear you, the man of God. Give him a hand as he comes. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let's say amen again. Amen. I was really surprised with my children giving the response. That that made me feel feel good. Amen. And, and, and they were saying that made me feel some kind of way. Come on, amen. Amen. I'm very proud of them. Yeah. Amen. They, they are working together. And it's good to see brothers and sisters trying to working together alone in the house of the Lord. Amen. All right, all right. Amen, amen. Uh, we must have, me and mama must have done something right. <laughs> amen, amen. Well, we are, you ain't here today, amen. And, and, and again, uh, uh, I want to apologize because uh, a lot of my members now have gotten up in age and a lot of them can't travel like they used to. Amen. But, but, but uh, we did, we did uh, 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 have a, have a, uh, a gift for for the church, amen. From the church, amen, amen. So, uh, and I, I want y'all to to continue to pray for us and pray for me, amen. On, as I continue on through this journey, and 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 then if I get if I get to if I start going too fast, y'all say slow down, preacher, because you're talking too fast. <laughs> but I get excited sometimes, amen, amen. And, and so it ain't, it ain't like it ain't, I, I ain't like I used to be. I can, I can slow myself down, but, but it seems like I get to going downhill now and the hill takes me. <laughs> amen, amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Amen. Eternal God, we thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity that you have granted to us again to speak to your people and let them know that you let you that you uh, are yet alive uh -huh. and you yet reign in this world of sin and shame. Lord, there's so much destruction going on around us. And and it seems like that 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 that, 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 that and we have time that we put restrictions on you, but we're going to take the restrictions off of you and let you have your way today. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Now, Lord, I ask you to speak through me and speak for me. That your words will flow freely from my lips. Uh -huh. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto thy sight. O Lord, for you are my strength and you are my redeemer. In Jesus' name, yeah. amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Amen, 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 amen. I, I, I have, I have uh, three points of scripture that we're going to talk about today, and I, I'm hoping that I won't take too too much of your time. But uh, uh, First John chapter five, verse fourteen and fifteen. You put your finger on that. In Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven. In the Luke chapter 1, verse 37. And from the King James Version of the Bible, they read like this. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15 says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he heareth us, what, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition, the petitions that we have that we desire of Him. Second uh -huh. Timothy chapter one verse seven says, "For God had not given us the fear, the spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind." Uh -huh. Luke chapter one verse thirty-seven. For it says, "For with God, nothing is it shall be impossible." Let, let me read that last one again. It says, for with God, nothing, nothing. shall be impossible. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and we're going to talk to you there. I know, uh, I know this is friends and family, but the Lord, the, the Lord wanted me, want me to let you know. Uh, and, 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 
uh, to, to, that we need to stop placing restrictions on God. The Lord help me Holy Ghost. We need to start placing restrictions on God. Amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord some praise. Amen. Amen. In there. Amen. I, I, know, I know that that that's a hard word. Amen. Because a lot of times we feel like we we're not restricting God, but anytime that we feel like we can do things in our own power, we have restricted and limited God to be our help. Come on, somebody. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thomas Edison said, if we did all the things we have the ability to do, we will literally surprise ourselves. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And, and one of the situations that that that, that is the, the need to stop is to do is to stop letting your environment Stop letting your atmosphere, yes. stop letting your surroundings, well. stop letting your conditions, uh -huh. stop letting your, your set of concepts, uh -huh. concepts and philosophies, and, and your existing problems, and your past failures, amen. Stop letting your self-doubt or fear, uh -huh. amen, uh, 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 and the thoughts of views of others, amen. Keep you from beginning, becoming all that God wants you to be. All right. Come on, somebody. I, I know I said something right there. Amen. Uh, amen. Because when we are when, when pursuing or following a dream, uh -huh. a goal or a vision, yeah. uh, uh, when you go far beyond our, our limitations, your limitations, boundaries, and restrictions. Amen. And I know this because I have lived long enough. Amen. Right. Amen. I never thought I, I lived this long, but I have. Amen. Uh, to spiritually understand, it will not let go of you. Amen. And the challenge that destroys you is God's will working in you. Come on, somebody. Amen. In other words, when God's will is working in you, uh, amen, uh, you have to take the restrictions off of him, amen, and forget about yourself. Come on, somebody. Amen. And, and, and now, if you have the faith to answer the call, amen, what can be accomplished are, are things you would never even uh, 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 thought were possible. Come on, somebody. Uh, come on. Amen. Have you ever surprised yourself, amen, and done something that you didn't think that you could do? Amen. It's all because you took the restrictions off of God. Lord, uh, heaven, all the Lord. I've learned through the Holy Spirit that the abilities and possibilities that can exist within us are never-ending and accessible. Come on, somebody. Right, amen. Come on. Amen. And when we think of the of limits, amen. Uh -huh. Amen. We create them. Amen. Yeah. Look in the Israel limit. If you if you look in, in Psalm 78, amen. Chapter verses uh, uh chapter 78, verse 40 and 42. Amen. Uh -huh. Israel limited God yeah, and died in the wilderness. Because they did not remember the power of God. Amen. And so I want you to know we have to remember the power of God in our lives. Amen. Amen. Look at look at Luke, Luke chapter 10. Amen. Verses 17 through 20. I know I, I, I've got some scriptures because I don't want nobody saying Miller saying nothing. Amen. Amen. The, the, seven, the 70 disciples, amen, came back incredibly happy. Amen. They say, Lord, Lord, even demons obey us uh -huh. uh, when we use the power and authority of your name. Yeah. Amen. Jesus said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. I, I have given you the authority to trample snakes and scorpions and yeah. to destroy the enemy's power. Amen. Yeah. Nothing will hurt you. No, no. However you, 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 however, do not be happy that uh -huh. evil spirits obey you. Come on, somebody. Come on. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. And if you remember, there, there was a woman, a one, by the name of Sharon Wood. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and she was the first female to climb Mount Everest. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. She said, uh, 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 and the thing that she said, uh, it, it was not the matter of physical strength, uh -huh. but the matter of inner strength. Lord, hear me, Lord, goes. In other words, in other words, she turned it all over to the Lord. Amen. And the assumption of control was in her mind. 
come on somebody and and she had to and and and, and we she had to penetrate barriers of, of self-imposed limitations come on somebody to get through the good stuff Come on, somebody. Look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor. Sometimes we have to penetrate the barriers of self-imposed limitations. Amen. In order to get to the good stuff. Amen. That, that's called the good stuff. That's called potential. Come on, somebody. Which 90% of what, what we rarely use. Come on, somebody. We rarely use 90% of the potential that God has given us. Lord, heaven or God, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm trying not to get excited, but I'm on my way there. Come on, somebody. So, but looking at this text, looking at this text, it's not just a nice response. It is, it is the complete truth. It, it is time to take the limits off what God can do in and through us and through our lives. Amen. 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 We are limited. Restricted and imperfect, but God, come on, somebody, look to your neighbor, and say, but God, God is unlimited, He is unrestricted, He is boundless. Come on, somebody, and we are subject to the constraints and restrictions, Amen. But God's power is without constraints and without limitations. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. I know I'm talking. I know I'm saying something good. Amen. Yeah. But we have to be. We, we must be willing to say yes, yes. to God's vision. Uh -huh. Amen. And and what He's given us to see. Amen. Not just every now and then, but we need to do it constantly. Yeah. Uh, not when not when we just when we feel like it. Uh -huh. Amen. Or when everything is going our way. Come on, somebody. That, that that's a problem with a whole lot of us. We uh -huh. want to do things uh, 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 because because we feel like it, or uh, uh, because we don't feel like it, we ain't gonna do nothing, or because everything is going our way, then we do it. But I want I thought about to tell you, we need to constantly do it. Amen. Amen. And I want you. I want to tell you something. Fear is a major barrier. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. That we have to overcome to take the limits off the vision that God has given us and the dreams he has placed in our lives. Uh, Come on, somebody. somebody Amen. Somebody. Amen. And look, look at 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Fear is an enemy. And, 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 and fear is an uneasy emotion that can cause one to worry about feeling powerless. It, it's one that it can make one feel helpless. Amen. And not only that, is it, it is a trigger in the mind that goes off when you feel threatened or you feel inadequate. Lord, have me, Holy Ghost. And am I helping somebody today? Lord, have me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Uh, this fear, this fear is not natural. Amen. It, it comes as, as a natural response to an event happening in your life. Lord, have me, Holy Ghost. It comes, this fear is crippling. It's, this fear is paralyzing. Amen. It encourages you to run and hide from uncomfortable circumstances. It, it encourages you to run and hide from uncomfortable situations. It, it encourages you to run and hide from, from things, the, from uncomfortable things. And, and, and because this paralyzing fear caused, amen, is caused by the spirit of fear. Lord, help me, Holy uh -huh. Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. And when the, when the spirit of fear attaches you, Help me, Holy Ghost. It, it holds your mind prisoner. Yeah, yeah. When the Spirit of God attacks you, it immobilizes you. Yeah. When the Spirit of fear attacks you, it, it disables you. Come on, somebody. When the Spirit of fear attacks you, it yeah. keeps you from moving forward. Amen. And the fear, the spirit of fear is deployed by the enemy to keep you from effect effectively fulfilling the vision of God or what God has given you in and, 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 and what's going on in front of you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And, and sometimes we can be doing something and, we, and, we, and, and it's going so good and before we know it, we're off doing something else. 
and we forgot what, we, what, what was in front of us, but we have to keep our eye on what's in front of us. Amen. You heard that song, his eye is on the sparrow. Amen. And you know that a sparrow ain't that big of a bird. Come on, somebody. But you got to keep, you got to keep your eye on what's in front of you. Amen. And know this, know this. Fear does not go away because you make a stand. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. It still right. tries to throw you off the course. Uh -huh. It, it rears us of your head yeah. when you allow faith to uh, uh, when you allow faith to move in. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, uh, a lot of you uh, want faith to move in, but then fear is, is try to move in first. Yeah. Come on, yeah. somebody. Uh -huh. But you have to be determined to fight daily. Uh -huh. Amen. You have to against fear yeah. and never give up never. and never give in. Our Lord help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And there are steps uh, that, that we need to, t to implement. There are steps that we need to take to take the limits of, of God to yeah. accomplish what he has given to the people of God, for the church of God, and for our lives as believers and followers of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Amen. You, uh, you don't have to say amen. I, I got a pocket full of them. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 And the first thing we not, and, and I'm going to use a few points and I'm going to sit on down because, uh, uh, you know, I, I can get excited with this. But the first thing we need to do, we need to realize God will not give you something if he has not already placed it within you and the ability to fulfill it. Come on, somebody. Amen. Let, let me say that again because somebody didn't hear me. Amen. Amen. We uh, realize God will not give you something if he has not already placed it within you and the ability to fulfill it. Come on, somebody. And, and everything in our lives, know the process that begins in the womb and that birth. Come on, somebody. And, and that now, uh, we look at my life. We look at, look at my life. Amen. Amen. At the age of 16 years old, God called me to, to declare his word as a messenger. Amen. And here I am today, 60 years old. Amen. And still standing firm for the Lord. Amen. 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 But it all happened and it all began. The, the process all began in the womb. Come on, somebody. And then, and then, and then I came out of the womb and I was born. Amen. Uh, 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 I was born, but I wasn't just born. I was reborn. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 So it takes the revelation of God through the Holy Spirit by the knowledge of the Word of Jesus Christ. Amen. According to the Romans, if you go look, if you look at Romans, you'll find this out. Because I'm telling y'all, y'all ain't gonna be saying what Miller said. Amen. Because it's in the book. Amen. Romans 15 and 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were were written for our learning. Come on, somebody, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Lord help the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We have to we have to tap into what's inside of us. To take the responsibility of making more space for faith. Amen. To remove the limitations we have put on God by getting ready for him to show off his greatness. Come on, somebody. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, to show off his greatness. Amen. Right. In and through our lives by fulfilling what he has assigned for us to do. Come on, right. somebody. Right. Amen. Look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, Amen. We we need we need to take the responsibility, Amen, and make more space of faith. Lord, hear my Holy Ghost, Amen. God gave you the vision, God gave you the insight, He gave you the resources to bring everything to pass, Amen. Not just now, but He 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 gave it to pass. He gave all things to you to pass at birth. Amen. Uh -huh. And every now and then, yeah. amen, uh, uh, look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, uh, you have to tell your neighbor and remind yourself, I was born for this. I was born. Lord, hear me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I was born for this. Amen. Amen. And, and it is time to tap in into what's inside of you. Uh -huh. it, it's your responsibility to live out the observation, amen, and visual, visual perception that God has given you. 
Come on, somebody. Amen. Because the more that God has has for you, amen, there is more that God has for you. Amen. There is more he wants you to do. Amen. And there is more that, 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 that he wants to do for you. Amen. Amen. He wants to enlarge your faith room, Lord Heavenly Ghost, with more space to receive. Amen. The, his goodness. Amen. So I stop by the table today. Get ready. Amen. Get ready for God to show off his greatness in and through your life. Come on, somebody. I, I, you ought to put your hands together right there. Amen. But God is good. Amen. 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 That, that's the first thing you need to do. Amen. To stop placing restrictions on God. Amen. The second thing you need to do is you need to ask him for exactly what you need with confidence and knowing. Amen. He hears your request. Yes. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. He answers your request because he already knew before he asked. Yes. <laughs> Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. I, I, I feel my help coming on a little bit. Amen. And he on, he only needs to know what you have what you have not put limitations on. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh -huh. In other words, he only needs to know that you have not put limitation on what he is able to do in and through you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and every and everything that, that that's good, that's pleasing to him. Come on, somebody. Notice I said that's pleasing to him and not pleasing to ourselves. And that's the problem with that that, that, that causes us to put restrictions on God because we so busy trying to please ourselves. Lord, have me let go. I still love your family, amen. But I got to tell you what God loves, and that's the truth. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. You, you do not have to be afraid. You do not have to, to beat around the bush. Amen. You can ask God with confidence. Amen. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 15, amen, it says right there, I read it to you, I'm, let me give you the God's word translating the Bible, since the King James Bible seems to be confusing to you. It says, we are confident that God listens to us. If we ask for anything that, that has his approval, Lord, here, no, we know that he listens to our requests. Come on, somebody. So we know that we already have what we ask him for. Come on, somebody. Amen. In other words, if you ask God for it, quit trying to do it yourself. Come on, and let God handle it. Amen. The problem is, is we need to stop placing restrictions on God. Because God knows what you need before you ask. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, be specific. Amen. He wants your request to be in line with what he has shown and, and what part of the vision that he's given for your life. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. And, and you, and matter of fact, I, 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 you know that, that, that commercial that comes on, uh, that get a piece of a rock. Amen. Amen. But I stop by, you can ask with guaranteed and confirmed confidence. Amen. That you know he hears your request. Lord, have me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Therefore, in, in, in Hebrew, Hebrew chapter 12. Amen. Amen. Hebrew chapter 12, 1 and 2. And I know I'm giving y'all a lot of scriptures. I hope y'all write these down because I don't want nobody to say Miller said. Amen. 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 It says, wherefore, amen, seeing we are uh, also encompassed about with a so great, a great, so great cloud of, let me, let me start over. I got excited. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us let us hide every weight and the sin which those which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, Lord Heavenly Holy Ghost, who for the joy for uh, uh, that was set before him endured the cross despite his shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Lord, have me all it goes. Amen. Amen. And so the bottom line is we just need to refuse, amen, to limit God's power. Amen. We need to limit, we need to refuse to limit God's power. Right, Amen. Right. Uh, uh, to take to take the limits off God to accomplish the vision he has given to you. 
to accomplish the, uh, uh, the vision that he has given to you, the people of God, the vision that he has given to you in the church of God. Never give, uh, uh, never give, uh, or, or never give to the spirit of spirit. Amen. You need to refuse to, uh, amen, to, to limit God's power. And when you, when you reveal his vision, amen, it will be bigger than what you can handle on your own. Lord, help me all the go. Have you ever, have you ever done something and you, and you feel like you need some help? Well, right. that, that's because you do. And all your help comes from the Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Amen. Your resources, your experience, your, experience your, your, your education and abilities are not enough to bring the vision that God has given you to pass. Amen. You need his help. You need his insight. You need his interaction. Amen. You need his instruction in all facets to make things happen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And don't that sound like taking the restrictions off God? Come on, somebody. Amen. So you have to keep trusting God. Amen. For your life. Amen. Word will only limit God's power working through the vision. Come on, somebody. And when you let worry saturate your mind, amen, you put the power in your hands. Come on, somebody. Let me say that again so some of y'all didn't hear me. Amen. But, uh, when you let worry saturate your mind, come on, somebody. I know a lot of y'all say, well, I don't, I don't really worry about it too much. But yeah, you do. Amen. Amen. Because you'll find yourself wanting to put the power in your own hands. Yeah. Come on, somebody. And the focus becomes what you can do and can what you can and cannot do instead of what God can do through you. Come on, somebody. Uh, worry not only limits God's power, but it destroys the progress, amen, of what of the perception that God has given you and the vision that he's, he's, uh, he's placed in your life. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm almost done. Amen. Amen. The fourth thing you need to do, you need to change the way you think. <laughs> change the way you think. Amen. Uh, and, and, and if you think about it, the, the United Negro College of Fund has one of the most powerful slogans when it comes to the mind. And they say, uh, uh, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Lord, heavenly, holy Ghost. And I stop by to tell you today, brothers and sisters, we waste our minds by feeding it drunk on television. Yeah. Come on. We waste our minds by feeding it he feed it on the uh, on the uh, uh, on on other people's opinions. Uh -huh. Lord Jesus Christ, we waste our minds by feeding it on social gossip, uh -huh. or social media gossip. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on, somebody, yeah. we waste our minds by thinking small and living scared. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, uh, when our minds can produce tremendous thoughts and innovative ideas. Amen. We need to stop putting limitations on God. Amen. The only way to change the way we think and, and make positive investments in our mind, come on somebody, is we have to hang around people who will challenge us. Uh, oh Lord, uh, uh, we need to open our minds uh, to new information and incredible thoughts. Uh, we need to change, we need to open our minds uh, to new information um, and, and incredible insights. Uh, oh Lord, uh, we need to refuse uh, to allow limited thinking uh, to infiltrate our minds uh, and watch God promote uh, our ability to see. Oh Lord, we need to stop putting limitations on God. Oh Lord, and the, the fifth and final thing we need to do um, before I go to my seat now uh, is we need to magnify the Lord. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, you know the Bible said magnify the Lord with me. Uh, oh Lord, uh, come on somebody. Uh, and when we magnify the Lord uh, uh, through the vision, uh, he become, you become uh, the lens uh, for others to see God more clearly. Good God Almighty, uh, when we magnify the Lord, um, you see the things uh, about the vision uh, you never knew existed. Uh, 
good God Almighty, would you magnify the Lord, oh Lord, the smaller your challenges are, good God Almighty, when you magnify the Lord, the smaller uh, your obstacles are. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, good God Almighty, uh, the better your insight to focus uh, uh, falls into proper perspective. Uh, oh Lord, uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, good God Almighty, uh, the more deliberate uh, you live according to God's directions. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, Stop uh, putting limitations uh, on God. Uh, good God Almighty, I uh, stop by to tell you uh, when you magnify the Lord. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, the more you can trust God. Uh, because uh, uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, the more your family uh, lives in perfect peace and love. Uh, good God Almighty, when you magnify the Lord, uh, good God Almighty, uh, the more your friends uh, find peace and love in your life. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, uh, the more your children uh, learn to respect others. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, the more uh, your wife loves you. Uh, Lord, help me. Uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, the more your husband uh, will love and respect you better. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, the more your finances uh, uh, remain secure. Uh, good God Almighty, how uh, many you know this money can get funny uh, every now and then? Uh, but keep on magnifying the Lord uh, that your finances uh, can remain secure. Uh, and when you magnify the Lord, uh, the more your future uh, looks brighter. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, when you magnify the Lord, uh, good God Almighty, uh, the more your job uh, will appreciate you. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, when you magnify the Lord, good God Almighty, the more safe and secure you are. Good God Almighty, when you magnify the Lord, the more public opinion does not matter. Good God Almighty, because you're not worried about public opinion, it's all about uh, stop uh, replacing, uh, stop placing restrictions uh, on God. Uh, if you magnify the Lord, uh, the more your business uh, and the business you are in uh, will prosper uh, according to God's will uh, and not your own. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, and when you magnify the Lord, uh, the coming depression uh, can, uh, cannot touch your life. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, how many of you know? That at the world that we're living in is a treacherous thing, but you have to trust in the Lord. And the reason is because we don't know what this world is going to turn out to be. But if you magnify the Lord, the more your debts will lessen. Good God Almighty. Stop by this afternoon to tell you Stop putting limitations in on God Oh yeah, oh yeah You have to change, change the way you think Oh Lord, and stop replacing And stop placing restrictions on God For He is able, He is able And Jesus died that we might have right to the tree of life. Can you say yes? Say yeah. I won't, I won't restrict God in my life. Good God Almighty, wave your hands to somebody and tell God, have your way. Have your way in my life. Have your way on my job. Have your way at home. At the store, have your way when I'm driving. Oh Lord, I want to remove all restrictions that's been placed on you in my life. Stop placing. 
restrictions on God. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Amen. We need to stop placing restrictions on God. And I know, I know it seems like what this preacher, what he preached that for. That's what God gave me to tell you. Amen. 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 Because we as a people, we have a, a tendency to place restrictions on God and not even know that we have done it. All right, all right. Amen. Right. When, when, and, and let me tell you, uh, 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 I, I took the restrictions off of God a long time ago when I, when I had my stroke in 2022. Amen. They told me to write my name. And it was in my, it was in on my mind, but it wasn't in my body. Amen. Because, because I, I restricted God from doing what he could do with me. But look at me now. I can write my name. Amen. Amen. And I told y'all, I think I told y'all last year, uh, I, I, I used to have an A&P membership, but now I write like a man. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. God keep you. Keep praying for us. Amen, amen. And as, 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 as long as long as y'all have me come down here, amen. I keep asking God what what He want me to say to you. Amen. Right. And I, I and like I said, I, I, to me, uh, uh, when God gave me this message, I said, Well, Lord, that don't sound like a friends and family day message. He said, it is a friends and family day message because friends and family have been placing restrictions on me. Come on, somebody. Amen. So I start by to tell you to stop placing restrictions on God. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. We do. We do. We do. We restrict him. We get sick, and we think that the only person that can help us is the doctor. And we run into financial difficulty. Instead of going to the Lord, we run to friends, we run to family, we run down to the loan shop. When God said, I, 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 I own all the cattle on the hill, why don't you come to me? As we stand all over the church. Maybe you've been putting restrictions on God. Some people will say, no, I ain't been putting it well. Have you ever wanted something? And said to yourself, I can't get it because you just eliminated God. It might be your health. It might be your strength. It might be something that you really need. But you restrict God from doing what he needs to do. God is a God of people, not a thing. And sometimes we have to realize that God has our best interest in his heart. He just wants us to ask for it. Have you asked God for something that you really need? Not what you want for what you need. What you're asking for. Do you believe that you can have it? God said, I can give I, I, I can do anything. In fact, he told David that. He said, told David, he said, if you had wanted more, I would have gave it to you. But so many times, we think we gotta go get it on our own. So we limit God. We know the the altar of God is over. Will you come? Whatever you might be in need of, will you come? Tell God all about it. Tell God what you want. And watch him give it to you. Don't, one of the key words he, he used is fear. Don't let fear stop you from coming. Because sometimes we, we allow fear to keep us from our blessing. It ain't about what we, uh, what we have, but if you press your way to the house of God, you need to press your way to the altar. Because things don't just happen at the house, it happens at the altar. When you come. When you come.
church, amen, it's it's an offer from St. Paul from the church and virtual ministry. You know, we sometimes we don't ask we don't pray before we leave home. Sometimes we need to learn to ask God what we want, what He wants us to bring on off. And as we ask Him and He tells us, we should not skip. But if we give what He gives, what He asks for, don't you know? I know for a fact He would give it back. Press down, shaking together, and running over. But you got to ask for it. Lord, what do you need me to bring? Because he told the Israelites, you bring a, you bring a, a lamb, one year old. And that's what they had to bring. And he blessed them for that. Sometimes we need to learn how to obey God and get the blessing that he is trying to give us. Stay right there. He all right. Gracious Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, Lord, we give you the praise and we give you the glory. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for each and every one that had to give. 
And we thank you, Lord, for each and every one that did not have something to give. But now, kind God, we ask you, Lord, to bless those that gave and bless those that did not. That one day that they will, they, they will receive the blessing, Father God, that you have already given unto them. Let them see it for themselves. And from that point on, give you the praise and give you the glory for what you have done and not what we have done ourselves. Lord, this is our prayer and our petition in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Come on. Did not our heart burn as a man of God preach? Amen. He gave you some words now. As he said, don't go around and say, well, what, what? No, he said it because God had it written in his word. And we need to learn how to use his word. Uh, it's, it's in the book. Acknowledge, we're up to acknowledgement and remarks. From the ecclesiastical kingdom of the church. And after her remarks, Amen. The man of God will come back, do his final remarks, benediction, and blessing of him. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, St. Paul. Thank you, St. Matt. Thank you, Liberty. Thank you to all our guests who are here today. This has been a wonderful family and friends day. As always, Elder Brian, you are welcome in this place. And we are grateful that you come every year to give a word for the family and friends. And I do hope that you have gleaned something today. I hope that you are encouraged. And I pray that we all just see each other again next year. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you so much. so much amen for for the invite amen and to all of us all of you here at Liberty Chapel amen from St. Paul Burman Baptist Church we're again grateful and we're very glad to, that that you uh, uh, allowed us to amen to make this place amen our choice amen amen to come and worship with you amen it, and it's always good to see Reverend White amen you guys fighting <laughs> amen, amen, amen. And uh, it's good to see my cousin in the back row. Amen, amen. And, and it's good to see all of you. Good to see Nita. Amen. And, and, and don't, don't, don't let me start calling names. And I want to thank my children for being my support system today. Amen. amen. And y'all continue to pray for my wife. Amen. Because she's she's working, amen. Right. And, and her job uh, requires her to travel uh, places that we ain't been before. <laughs> oh amen, amen. So I ask you to pray for her and and her travels that she be, come back be, be back safely, amen. amen. Make it come again, come back and take care of me, amen. Cause I, I need that. <laughs> I need to take care of me. And I need my children to take care of me. That when they do good, when mama they here. Yeah, they do all right, but she do better. <laughs> amen. And let us stand, amen. Uh, we are no longer delay the program. Again, we thank everybody. Thank Pastor Fletcher again for allowing me the opportunity 
and calmly stand behind the sacred desk. Amen. And to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Yeah, let us pray. Eternal God, we are grateful to you today. We thank you for speaking through us and speaking for us and having your way with us today. We ask you to bless the food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. For you are good and you are great. And it's by your hands that we are fed. Lord, uh, uh, we ask that the, the word that was delivered today will, will not only be in our hearts, but it will resonate in our lives. That we will not place restrictions on you the way we have been. Now, now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us now and forever. Let us all say together, Amen, Amen, amen. and Amen. You are dismissed.